Hi, in this video, I'm going to compare a two-way table to a Venn diagram. So the question that was posed to a class was how many brothers and sisters do you have? And that consisted of whether you had no brothers and no sisters as well. So the two-way table shows this. If you look across, the first row is brother. This means the first cell means that you have 21 in the class that have a brother and a sister. Looking across, five brothers, no sisters with a total of 26 people in the class with brothers. The second row is no brothers. That means the first cell is 10 people have sisters, no brothers. The second cell right here is no brothers, no sisters with a total of 14 people in the class with no brothers. If we look at the columns, looking at sister, going downwards, there's a total of 31 in the class that have sisters and no sisters are nine people. If I circle the 40. If you were guessing that this is the sample size, you are correct. That means 40 people were asked this question. So that is our sample size n. So I'm going to transfer the information from this table to the Venn diagram. I just want to show a little bit of notation. I'm going to use B for brother and I'm going to use B prime for no brother. So the little dash on the top of B means B prime. You may also see a B complement with a C. So it's either B prime or B complement. That means no brothers. For sister, I'm going to use S and no sister, I'm going to use S prime. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out this Venn diagram. One circle is going to correspond to brothers and the other circle will correspond to sisters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the intersection, which is the middle part right here. This is both have a brother and a sister. So we could see in the first cell right here that this is 21 people out of 40 brothers and sisters. And then I'm going to complete the brother circle. So there are five people in the class that have brothers. That means five brothers but no sisters. So that completes the brother row and you could see that the total is 26 and the first row shows a total of 26. Now I'm going to go ahead and complete the sister circle. Looking down we already put in the 21 sisters and brothers. Now there are 10 that have only sisters, no brothers. So I'm going to go ahead and put 10 here. And you could see that the total sister circle has 31, which I have here representing the, the total sister. Now you could see that I have the margins highlighted in yellow that represents the total amount. What do we do with the four right here? Because we don't see that anywhere in the Venn diagram. Well, the four indicates no brothers, no sisters. So that can go anywhere outside these two circles. You could put it anywhere inside this rectangular shape. And this whole rectangle is our whole sample size. So this is our sample size right here. Now, if you count up the total sample, we should have 40. So looking at this, I have 21 and 5 is 26 and 10 is 36 and 4 is 40. So that pretty much is the Venn diagram that represents the two-way table above. But now we should answer some questions. Let's say the question was asked, what is the probability of selecting a, a student in the class that has a brother? We could either use the two-way table to answer this question or we could use the Venn diagram. Whichever one you use, you should get the same answer. To answer the first question, what is the probability of selecting someone in the class that has a brother? Well, if you look at brothers right here, this is what you want to look at. This row and you want to look at the total. So we have 26 people out of 40 in the class that have brothers. So I'm going to go ahead and put 26 out of 40. Now, if you want to convert that to percentage, because 26 out of 40 is a fraction, 65%. That means 65% of the students in the class have a brother. To answer the next question, which is similar, but now it's what's the probability of students in the class that have sisters. If I want to know the probability of 
students in the class that have a sister, I'm going to go ahead and look down in this column right here. There are 31 students in the whole class out of 40 that have a sister. If you look at the Venn diagram, sister consists of this circle right here. This whole circle is a circle of sisters. So 31 out of the whole class, which is 40, have sisters. So I'm going to write 31 out of 40, which is approximately 77.5%. So 77.5% have a sister. Okay, let's go ahead and answer the next question, which is what's the probability of having a brother and a sister. So anytime we're looking at probability of brother and the sister, so let's take a look here. And by the way means intersection. So this symbol right here represents and. So brother and a sister. It's pretty simple if you look at the Venn diagram. Well that's just going to be this number here. This is the 21 out of 40 have a brother and a sister. So 21 out of 40 is the probability of having a brother and a sister and the ad is about 52.5 percent. Now you can also use the two-way table. Here is 21 and it would be out of 40 our total sample size. All right let's answer the question what is the probability of having a brother or a sister. All right, so a brother or a sister, and let me change the color. The probability of brother or a sister is represented with a union, like a U-type shape, brother or sister. So that means I'm going to just look at the Venn diagram. A brother or a sister is everything in the two circles. So if we just add up 5 and 21, that's 26, and 10, that's 36. So 36 ha out of 40 have a brother or a sister. So either a brother or a sister. Now you need to be careful when you look at the two-way table because if you look at brother, we get total 26. And if we look at sister, we get a total of 31. Well, if you add these two numbers, that doesn't add up to 36. That's because that, that adds up to 57. Well, it's no surprise that 57 minus 21 right here is 36 because when we're using the two-way table and we just look at the margins of the row and the column, we are adding up 21 twice. So we need to subtract that number. So it's much easier to see it from a Venn diagram. All right, let's go ahead and answer what's the probability of no brother. So the probability of no brother could be written as B complement or just B prime, as I said I would use. That means if you covered up this whole circle, this is the circle of brothers. So no brothers represents 14 out of the total sample size, so 14 out of 40. Another way to look at it is if you're looking at the table, uh, no brothers represents this row, and there are 14 right here, 14 out of the total sample size again. So 14 out of 40, that represents about 35%. Let's go ahead and do what's the probability of no sisters. So the probability of no sisters, we're going to do the same thing. S prime is what I'm calling it. All right, so if we want to look at the probability of no sister, we can go ahead and look down this column because this is no sister. So there are nine people out of 40 with no sister. If we look at the Venn diagram for no sister, basically I'm going to cover up the sister circle. So if I cover up the sister circle, you could see right here that I'm left with five and four, which is nine, which is the column we got from the two-way table. So nine out of 40, and that is 
percent. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this one is one that most people confuse and right here this symbol the probability of brother given you have a sister so the symbol right here which is like a bar represents given that means out of all the, those who have sisters how many have brothers i can show you how to do that on the venn diagram um looking at the venn diagram right here here's the trick with a given uh type question the probability of brother given sister it means the denominator is going to be out of the total sister. So what I'm going to be looking at is I'm only going to look at this circle, which is the total sisters right here. So only from this total. So I'm going to put in the denominator 31. And if you look at the two-way table, I'm going to look at the total sisters right here. So this is given that you have a sister. So the probability of a brother given that you have a sister. So out of all those that have a sister, what's the probability you have a brother? So looking at this circle, from all those that have sisters, there are 21 that have brothers. So I'm going to say 21 out of 31. That's how you would use the Venn diagram. If you look at the two-way table from all those that have a sister, so you could see this column, which is the total is 31, how many have brothers? So that is 21 right here because this is the only row with brother. This means no brother. So 21 out of 31 have brother given sisters. And that represents about 67 point seven four percent all right so the last one the probability of having a sister given that you have a brother so uh, we're going to go ahead and use the venn diagram to see how we would answer that but again given that you have a brother so that will be the brothers will go in the denominator given that you have a brother so out of all those that have brothers what's the probability they have a sister too so let's go ahead and look how we would do that with the venn diagram so now since i'm looking at only those that have brothers i'm going to go ahead and just circle this circle so this is my total sample that i'm looking at right here out of all those given you have a brother that means there's 26 so that will be my total 26 what's the probability there you have a sister so that's 21 so 21 out of 26 which is about 80.77%. Let's go ahead and look at the table and see how we get 21 out of 26. Again, the probability that you have a sister given uh, you have a brother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the brother's row because given you have a brother, I only want to look at this row. And you could see that the total is 26. So that's where my denominator comes in, 26. And out of that total, how many have sister so 21 out of the total amount 26 all right well i hope this wasn't too confusing but this is how you would compare a two-way table to a venn diagram